Look at who it is. Hey there, cutie. What are you doing knocking on my door this late? Well, yeah, I can see that, but why are you paying me a visit? Not that I mind it, of course. I'm always happy to see that adorable face of yours. But it's awfully late for you to be coming over here just to say hi. So, what brings you over here when it's well after midnight? The cookies? Wait, were you up late baking again? <laughs> you and your late night antics, I swear. I may look like the vampire between the two of us, but but you're the one who causes all sorts of trouble from being up in the dead of night. Hell, I wouldn't be surprised if you're making scones that could raise the dead or something like that. Yeah, I'm just watching a movie. You, apparently, were making a mess in the kitchen and creating more of your devilishly tempting cookies. They definitely are. Everything you bake is sinfully good. And you're clearly an evil mage who made a deal with the devil for your unparalleled baking abilities. Seriously, I've had some intense dreams about that honey pudding you made a couple months ago. I think that's the closest I've ever gotten to knowing what heaven tastes like. I mean, I'm not going to force you to. But if you wanted to make some honey pudding for me, I certainly wouldn't say no. Actually, I might even beg you for it. <laughs> Oh, you're so good to me, cutie. Though, I've got to find some way to repay you now, don't I? Oh, you have an idea? Well, go ahead. I'm listening. Now that does sound like a good idea. You know, you've got a good head on your shoulders. Now get in here. It's starting to get cold out, and someone as cute as you shouldn't be shivering out here. Go ahead and take a seat on the couch. I'll grab us something to drink. Here you are. Now do you, uh... <laughs> Sorry, it's nothing. You just look so happy getting all snuggly on my couch. It's really cute. Yeah, you're comfy, I take it. Well, then I hope that me sitting with you won't disturb your comfort any, because I'm going to sit right here next to you. Mm-hmm, I am. I'm going to sit right here and steal my cute vampire bat pillow back from you because I know you're going to try to steal it again. Oh, really? Because I happen to have a very distinct memory of you trying to sneak this exact pillow out of my apartment when I fell asleep during our scream marathon a couple months ago. Yeah, right. That's what they all say. Just admit to your guilt already. Your adorable puppy eyes have no effect on me, you terrible thief. Not a chance, cutie. Fing is staying over here, right next to me, and far from your evil clutches. What? Fang? I already told you I named him that. See? Because he's a vampire. Because he's got those cute little fangs. So, he's Fang. I don't care if it's unoriginal. I think it's cute. No. No way. I'm not gonna let you hold him after you just dissed his name. That's so rude. You're really holding the cookies hostage? How mean. How cruel, you absolute monster. <laughs> okay, fine. But no stealing him this time, okay? He's the only thing protecting me from the pain of sleeping alone on these cold, cold nights. Yeah, you promise me you won't. You pinky swear it. Alright, then we'll trade at the same time. Well, duh. Obviously, well, duh. Obviously, I don't trust you. You may be cute, but you try to steal Fang, and you just insulted his super cool name. All right, then we'll do the trade on one. Ready? Three, two, one. Ha <laughs> ha! And now the cookies are all mine. Oh, these look good. What kind are they? Oh, my favorite. You know exactly how to steal my heart. You know that? <laughs> oh my god, these are so delicious, cutie. I think this might be the closest thing I've ever had to tasting heaven. Are you actually trying to make me fall in love with you? Because you better be careful what you wish for. Mm-hmm. Because if you're not careful, you're going to end up with my heart in your hands. 
And I promise that I'm quite a handful when I'm in love with someone. Being at your place, snuggling up to you all the time, annoying you for kisses. I'm the worst kind of menace. <laughs> hey, cutie, what you looking at? Yeah, I know you're looking at me, but you're not just looking at me. You have this look on your face. You're thinking something, and it's something about me. You know, you don't have to lie to me, cutie. Tell me what you're thinking. Come on. You know I'm not going to be mad or judge you or any of that. You can tell me. Hey, I mean it. You know I mean it. Tell me what's going on inside that beautiful brain of yours, cutie. I want to know what's got you all wrapped up in your thoughts. Closer? Yeah, I can move closer. Let me just set this down first. So what is it? What's on your mind? Of course, cutie. I'm all ears. Hmm? And what do you mean? Oh, yeah, I guess I am kind of flirty with you. Is that a bad thing? I guess it just always felt natural to sweet talk you. Ever since we've met, I've just felt this pull to you. It felt like I was a moth and you were the brightest lamp I'd ever seen. <laughs> Be quiet, you know what I meant. But fine. Then I guessed that you were a dark corner and I was a spider that needed a place to make a web. There. Is that better? Is that more fitting? <laughs> but seriously, I mean it. Ever since that first day, I just wanted to be close to you and be a little voice in your ear that could make you smile. Then we, start, then we started talking more and spending more time together and I couldn't help but get a little hooked on your attention. Because you always paid attention when I called you cutie and whispered sweet words in your ear, I just kept doing it. You would smile at me and nudge me in the side and whisper it back to me and it was... I don't know how to describe it. It was exactly what I wanted. Yeah, of course I do. I don't think I'll ever not want it. Just us being us, together, until we die. What do you mean? You want more? What? What do you mean more? Me? I am. Um, does that mean you want more of me? I mean, that is what you're saying, right? I'm not confusing this or anything. Oh my god, you want to date me? You actually want to date me? Huh. Well, that is not what I expected to hear. I can barely believe it. Huh. Wait, what are you doing? Why are you grabbing my shirt? Yeah, alright, you've proved your point. I believe you. Hey, that doesn't mean we should stop kissing. Get back over here, cutie. I want more of you. As if I could ever get tired of you. I'll always have a craving that only you can satisfy. Of course. And now that I've finally had a taste of you... That craving is only getting stronger. Come on, cutie. I need to kiss you more. I'm so hungry for you. You can call me a vampire, but that doesn't change the fact that I still need more of you. Well, fine then. I'll prove how much of a vampire I am. Yeah, really. Unless you're too scared that you're wrong. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought, cutie. Hmm. You know I love the way you smell. No, not like a blood bag. You smell, I don't know, nice? Familiar? You just... You smell like home. Like somewhere I never want to leave. Mm-hmm, I do. I like it a lot. <laughs> you know, this isn't what I expected when I saw you at my door this late at night, but I think that this might be one of the best chaotic late night things we've done. I really do. This might be one of the best things we've done in general, actually. Well, my kissing certainly doesn't hurt. Now, since I'm obviously not going to kick you out this late at night, hell, I'm not even going to let you go out tonight. Why don't you come here so we can cuddle and watch something together? Yep, like I said, I'm a menace when I'm in love, 
I know you're going to have to deal with me being a clingy and cuddly nightmare. So get up here and lay your head on my chest so I'll be able to kiss you whenever I want. Right, or whenever you want. As I'm sure you figured out by now, I'm never going to turn down a kiss from you. <laughs> sure, and you can cuddle Fang too, but only if you move the cookies closer so I don't have to sit up to reach them. Perfect. Now come here and cuddle me, cutie. If you're going to hold Fang, then you're going to be my little snuggle toy while we watch this movie. Oh, mm, there we go. You comfortable, cutie? Good. Now I've got one last request. Mm-hmm. I think that, since I'm still so hungry for you, you should give me a few more kisses before I start this movie. You know, to tide me over. Come on, just a few. Oh, thank you, cutie. You're so good to me. 